In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who wonderfully chose the priest, St. John Hughes, to proclaim the unfathomable riches of Christ, grant us by his example the teachings that growing in knowledge of you, we may live faithfully by the light of the gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through the Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our song responds, In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O oh Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I visit not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In, In you, Lord, Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on his mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In, In you, Lord, Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory At that time, Jesus answered, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church honors and remembers St. John Eudes, a 16, let's see, he lived in the 1600s, a French priest. He dies around the year 1680. He is, starts his own religious congregation. He is famous for giving uh, missions or retreats, renewals, and his emphasis is on the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, devoting, spreading devotion to these two great things. And as I was reflecting about that this morning, a thought occurred in my head. I don't know if you've heard, but there is a prayer that I've heard people utter, sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on me. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on me. It's a beautiful little prayer. But what got me this morning in my prayer was that word mercy. And in my mind, I used my imagination. I could see myself saying, sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on me. And having Jesus say, okay, I will, I will, I want to. But I ask that you show mercy toward others. Now, I am sure as I thought about it more, there would be some who would say, uh, I'll tell you what, is there anyone else I can talk to in heaven? Maybe your father, the Holy Spirit. I'll even speak to your mom. The reason I can say that quite confidently is because I have been that person. I have been that person that has said, oh, sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on me, a sinner. And then in my heart felt stirred to say, uh, by God to say, well, have mercy on this other person. I went, no. Because Lord, look what that person did to me. I'll tell you a story. I, some of you have heard it, uh, but it taught me a very valuable lesson. Uh, years ago, as a seminarian, had a, uh, a, a priest write a letter and uh, the Archbishop got it. And that priest basically chastised me about how bad I am, all kinds of things. And the bishop, and the priest wasn't even in the diocese, to be honest with you. And the bishop looked at it and just kind of chuckled and boop, into the circular bin it goes. And uh, I got mad. And the Archbishop Lipscomb, you know how he is. He's like a, an old Southern gentleman was like, ah, don't worry about that. You're gonna get letters of complaint all the time. I know you, you're not anything what he said. Don't worry about it. It's okay. But I carried that anger with me. How dare he? And years later, I was riding in a car with uh, Monsignor John Ahern. Monsignor Hearn would spend the first two hours of his morning in front of the Blessed Sacrament every morning. I know that I lived with him for a summer. And one day we're riding and uh, I was telling him that story that I just told you. Still angry about it. And he looked at me and he said, William, how do you plan to be a priest? speaking about the love and mercy and forgiveness of God if you're not willing to show that same love and mercy toward another person. You couldn't have punched. Mike Tyson could not have hit me as hard as that statement did. But that's what we do. And I say that from experience. That's what we do. We carry with us these useless burdens of anger and frustration towards someone else who's sleeping well at night, but we're not because we're still carrying that. 
We say, Lord, have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. But yet we are not willing to show that same consideration that we're asking for. What I'm saying is not new, it's not revolutionary, it's not profound, because Jesus taught us that in the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I hope to God, and I mean this sincere, I hope to God, that he does treat me better than I have treated others. That he shows me a little bit more mercy and consideration than I have shown toward others throughout my earthly life. And I hope to God he gives me the opportunity to live long enough to make recompense. Because if he treats me the way I treat others, yeah, yeah. It ain't too good. So. Think about that. Go back. What burdens are you carrying? And ask the Sacred Heart of Jesus to help you to lay down those old hurts, those old burdens, and to start fresh and new again. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We especially remember those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound, the homeless. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the infant of Prague, the baby Jesus, will watch over and guide our parish finances, that we may always have enough of what we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work with human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Let us eat down forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful God, who are pleased to create in blessed John Hughes the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John you, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and death. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love, through the example of blessed John Hughes, and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy, Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be the Holy Name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. 
Blessed be the Holy Spirit and the Solar. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. 